Hey. So welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know it's been a ridiculously long time since my last video, but I've been really busy traveling and just like a lot has gone on and this is like one of the first chances I've had. And of course, Mouse wakes up. He's been silent this entire time, it's ridiculous. Anyways, if you've seen my video from a few months ago, I had my very first experience with Shop Miss A and for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised. Like when I dug into a lot of my makeup, I was like, are you sure this is a doll? Like I was just truly shocked that I could get such quality makeup for a dollar. So I went back and I placed another really, really big order. This time mostly everything was makeup because to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with the accessories and jewelry. I did get a few pieces, these rings included, um, but I wanted to, instead of just like showing a haul of everything I got, I kind of wanted to use everything first to get a general feel and tell you what's worth it and what isn't worth it because even though it's a dollar everything kind of all adds up and it's probably better that you're spending on money on things that you're gonna like rather than things that are just gonna go to the garbage so first i'm going to start off with the things that i don't like because it's a significantly smaller pile than the things that i do like the first thing that i'm going to talk about is this clean color tanned raw matte a uh, matte bronzer and shimmer bronzer now, I probably shouldn't have bought this because I don't really use bronzer to begin with, but everyone was like raving about these and I haven't actually used this one yet, so, but I, you know, based on what I felt about this one, I'm assuming this one's not going to perform much better. I just didn't love this product. Um, it doesn't actually have a lot of pigment to it and I was a little scared to like overuse it and maybe another reason I don't really like it is because it's just a bit too warm for my skin tone or, or I'm not even entirely sure what it is. I'm just not a huge fan of this color on me. I don't really at all like the like consistency of it. It's very chalky. It's decent enough, I guess. I just don't ever use this. I stick to my usual and I haven't opened this one yet, but this is the shimmer bronzer. I'm assuming I'm not gonna like it, but same premise. Oh yeah, there's a lot of shimmer in that. I don't see how I'm gonna use that. And this one has a lot more pigment to it. I'll show you in comparison. I don't know if you can see, yeah. But the shimmer has like double the pigment. That's ridiculous. But no, I, I just don't see myself using these. I, I picked up these rings in three different colors because I just thought they were really pretty. Um, and it's not that I don't like them, but the last time I got a ring that wasn't adjustable, I did manage to like squeeze it on my middle finger and it worked, but it feels like this is the only one that actually goes down on my middle finger. Um, and I just, I don't like how they're different sizes. Like this one doesn't even go past my knuckle here on my middle finger. It's just ridiculous. So I'd have to say a thumbs down for these, even though they're actually pretty good quality. They just don't fit me, unfortunately, but maybe I'll find something else to do with them. So the next thing that I didn't really like, and unfortunately I already threw away the packaging, was this fake septum ring. Nothing wrong with the quality, anything like that. I mean, for a dollar, it's pretty decent quality. I just didn't love it on me. And the only reason I got it, I'm gonna put it on. The only reason I got it was to see what a septum ring would look like on me. Um, not that I would ever, ever pierce my septum. That looks ridiculously painful. I'm not willing to do that to myself. But I'm just not a huge fan of it. Like, I just don't, I think it's too much for my face. Um, but it's fun. I'm just never gonna use it and it's gonna sit around and collect dust. So this is not from this order, but it's from the haul that I showed months ago. And I have to say, unfortunately, I don't like this blush. I had such high hopes for it. I didn't even bother to open the packaging before, like raving about how beautiful it was. But this is a huge thumbs down. First off, it smells, it smells like chemicals. It doesn't smell good at all. I don't know what they did to this thing, but it just, it smells atrocious. Secondly, it is so powdery. It's ridiculous. Putting my brush in here just creates so much fallout. And a lot of the shimmer in it is really just like surface shimmer. So you're losing a lot of that once you put your brush in here. 
and I just, I don't love it. Like I bought four of these and they're just taking up space. I never use them, so not really worth even a dollar for me. So I'm pleased to say that's it for the pile of things that I don't like. Um, I got about 30 items, so almost everything I'm in love with, at least in some capacity. Full disclosure, I haven't used all of these items, but I've used enough and I'm gonna give you my opinion anyway because I don't wanna sit around on this package for too much longer. But let's talk about the first item. I picked up the Clean Color Brow Pomade and I think this was in blonde, which is weird because it's a very dark brown. So I thought I'd go ahead and actually pick up like a proper brow cream or gel, whatever you wanna call this. And I really, really like it. It's basically the same consistency of my gel liner. It does the same. It's really waterproof. I mean, my eyebrows don't budge at all, all day. And I mean, I really like it for a dollar. It's pretty great. Um, the one thing I'm not a big fan of is the packaging. Uh, it just feels very, very cheap. And I'm a huge klutz. And I'm really worried that I'm gonna break this if I drop it, which is totally possible. It's really great, especially if you're just getting into doing your eyebrows, this would be a great purchase. Another product I'm gonna rave about, and this is going back to the original order as well, are these Clean Color Miss Chick Universally Flattering Flush blush. That is such a tongue twister. I really hate saying that. But these things, these guys are so freaking pigmented and they are so, so nice. I don't actually, I picked up two from this order, but I ended up giving one away because it was just too dark for my skin. This one's probably a little too, too dark as well, but I was trying to go beyond the usual pinks and reds that I do and get something a little different. I can't for the life of me remember what color this was, and they just don't say it on the packaging anywhere. But these guys are so freaking pigmented. It's ridiculous, it's so ridiculous. You don't get a whole lot in the package, but you get a decent amount, and seriously, a little goes a long way. So this is gonna last you a really long time. Every time I've worn this blush, not this specific one, every time I've worn blush from this specific brand, I get compliments. People wanna know where I got it. Oh, shh, shh, no more. People wanna know where I got it, and I, I'm always excited to tell them the price. I'm always excited to tell them where, and I'm just, I'm gonna go back for more. I'm probably gonna buy all of them, even though I'm probably not gonna use all of them, but they're just so good. They're so good. I have to rant about this eyeliner. I love liquid eyeliner, but I'm really specific about the brushes. I'm really specific about like the texture as well, but I think that the eyeliner that I've been using pretty much religiously for like three years isn't being made anymore. So I've been on the hunt for like a really good liquid eyeliner and I found it in the Clean Color Very Important Precision VIP Eyeliner. First off, this stuff is like ridiculously black. I'm wearing it on my lid today, but I'll still do a swatch. Stuff is ridiculously black. Look at that. And once it dries, it doesn't go anywhere. Packaging is ridiculously cute. And I mean, I'm shocked that it's something that cost me a dollar could be this great and could completely like outshine the other liquid liners and gel liners that I already have in my collection. I have not stopped using this the second I started. So I do love my lipstick, but for some reason, I just like don't own any lip liner. And before I checked out, I decided I was gonna go ahead and just like grab like five or six random ones. These lip liners are really, really creamy, like so smooth. Like this one is ridiculously creamy. I do have these ones from Clean Color as well, which I haven't used. They just come with their own like personal sharpeners and they're so much larger than these, as you can see. Um, but I was really blown away by the consistency, the creaminess, the pigment of this specific liner. So if you find it on the website, by all means splurt. I'm gonna quickly make a decision on whether or not I like these, but I'm assuming from all of my experiences with Clean Color, that I'm going to love it. And I've heard really, really, really good things about them. So these ones are a little bit stiffer than the other ones. Um, not as opaque, I find. Uh, it seems to be kind of running a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so the only thing I'm not loving is that it's just not as opaque. 
but it's still pretty nice. And it's not nearly as smooth. If I were to have to go back and pick between, I'd definitely go back for these even though they're basically half the size. So I did pick up another liquid liner. Not that I needed it, only because of the fact that this packaging absolutely just kills me in the best way. Can we just talk about that for a dollar? This is very like Too Faced to me, you know, or Sugar Pill Cosmetics. The one thing that I'm not crazy big on is when I got this, or sorry, not this part, this part up here, because it's like a two-in-one liner, just kept popping off and it does keep popping off. But what I really do like is it gives you two options. If you'd rather do sort of like a pencil, they have the pencil up there. And then if you're more of a liquid liner like me, it's down there. And this one again is quite black. Um, the brush on this one isn't as stiff as the other. I haven't really used it too much from what I can tell. It's, it's really nice, it's the same sort of thing. It doesn't really go anywhere um, and it's super, super opaque. I really like it. So in my last video, I showed like a buttload of face masks that I had picked up. Specific mask stuck out the most. It's just like the best quality that I've had in all of them. The smell was really nice. Um, I've paid like $5 for a face sheet before and this still blows me away in comparison. My face felt like really nice and soft after and I'm gonna probably go back and pick up more because these bad boys are really, really nice. I like them a lot and just the packaging feels really nice and like, you know, high end and it's a freaking dollar. <laughs> And last are these rings. And this is actually a set of three, so everything combined was dollar. And I really like these actually, they're adjustable. So, I mean, I can play with them, put them on any finger that I want. The only thing that I don't like is the charms keep flipping, um, and that's really annoying. But aside from that, they're so cute. So you can see one is an apple, don't mind my awful manicure right now. One is, I believe, like a clover, and then we have a star and they're really cute. I like them a lot. So last but not least, and I will unfortunately have to say that I'm not gonna be swatching these on camera because I think that they deserve their own video, are these matte lip colors from, I have some from Santee and I have some from Clean Color. And I can tell you before I do my actual review on these, that these blew me away, completely blew me away. I did a swatch, I think, with this one, and the pigment was ridiculous. It was creamy, it smelled amazing. The one thing that didn't I didn't love was that it took a really long time for it to dry for the specific clean color matte gloss. But aside from that, I love this. I've paid a lot of money for matte lipstick before, and the fact that I can get matte lipstick of this quality for a dollar, I just, I mean, it's unbeatable in my opinion, so. Anyways, that's everything for my haul slash review slash first impressions video from Shop Miss A. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get another order. I'm kind of a little bit addicted to this website, so if you'd be interested in me continuing to review the products that I get, please do let me know, but if you're kind of like overseeing me talk about this website, just let me know and I won't take it personally. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay, let me start. All right, so here is my mother. As I've mentioned, she's the one that is the owner of these glasses. <laughs> this is where I get my giddiness from, I swear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, mom, stop.